Hey, Matt here with the Handy Manual. Do you need organization ideas for your work van? The options are endless, but today I'm gonna to share with you some of the key things to keep in mind when designing your work van setup so that it's tailored to fit your needs exactly. So let's jump right in. All right guys, so in today's video, I want to share with you some of the organization principles I used when designing my van setup. So I might be stating the obvious here, but organization principle number one is to plan ahead. Planning ahead will save you hours and hours of problem solving when you're building. I recommend keeping design notes on a file folder on your computer or in a dedicated notebook where it stores all of your design ideas and then you can go back to it and revise as needed. You can use SketchUp or draw on some grid paper to get some rough initial ideas down and continue to revise for a few weeks. Make sure to measure the cargo area to get a rough idea of dimensions you can always tighten them up once you get closer to building. Don't try to design all at once either. Your brain will need time to work things out in the background as you go about your days. So come back to your ideas at a few different days and times. This way you'll have a fresh perspective when getting back into it. Here's a picture of what my van looked like when I started to design. It was all metal shelving, had a rough floor mat and wasn't optimized for me. Uh, I believe the previous owner was an electrician, but I slowly thought about what I needed and went from there. Which brings us to organization principle number two, build based on your values and what you need for your specific trade. So the overarching idea here is to make working out of your van fun. So ask yourself what would be the ideal setup where you can imagine it being an enjoyable experience when working throughout the day on jobs. Think about the user experience. You are the user and how can you make things fun when you interact with your storage system? I know that for me, before I had an organization system, I would literally just throw tools and supplies in the van at the end of the job and spend hours on the weekend cleaning. After building the setup, work became more fun because everything had a place and it significantly decreased my frustration. So with that said, what trade are you in? Are you an electrician, a plumber, a painter, a tiler, or a handyman like me? If you're a handyman, you'll need a little bit of everything that is tools for a lot of different jobs. Also, because I can't stand up in the van, I wanted to design a system where I have to actually get in the van as little as possible. So you can see I built drawers, cabinets, hung things in the doors, and made the most used tools accessible from the outside. Which brings us to organization principle number three, design for housing big tools first, then small tools. You wanna to put your big rocks in first, then throw in the pebbles. So as you can see here, I got my table saw and miter saw. I designed this system first, and again, I wanted to make them accessible if I'm standing from the outside of the van. Otherwise, you'll break your back from constantly getting in and out. And another thing to keep in mind too is what tools you currently have and which tools you plan to get in the future. Also, I recommend making things modular so that you can remove, add, or replace certain features of your setup. For instance, with the drawers on the right, they're just connected to the uprights with four brackets. So if I remove those brackets, the whole thing slides right out. Number four, square up the cargo space. So with this van in particular, the Ford E250, it has a natural curvature on the sides. So I wanted to square it up and utilize the dead space for long flat tools. Like as you can see here, digging tools, my saw horses, a foldable hand truck, and my drywall T-square. Another tip would be to keep frequently used tools the most accessible. Uh, you can see here, these long tools are quick and easy to access from the outside, as well as my mutter saw and table saw. This is the other side of the van. I keep more digging tools here. You can see my shovel, I have a post hole digger, and just some miscellaneous tools. Uh, you can also see the framing I did to square it up, and how I attached the uprights to the framing itself. So the last and final principle here would be to maintain a central aisle 
or runway, so to speak, to be able to access tools and supplies from the inside. Also, you want to be able to access the cabin from the cargo area and vice versa, as well as to temporarily store job supplies and debris that you removed from a job. A central aisle also keeps things better organized and efficient. A pro tip here is to build your drawer and shelf system low enough to be able to fit plywood, drywall, or lattice on top without having to clutter up the central aisle, uh, as you can see from the picture here. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you got some value out of that. And if you did, if you could hit that like button, that would be awesome. I'd love to know where you are on your van setup journey and what challenges you're currently facing. So be sure to comment below and let me know. Also stay tuned here at the handy manual for more in-depth van setup videos. Until next time, be well.